That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air, and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high. And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing. Oh, might be. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, it's a 4 5 1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also, watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. It's a corner. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. Well, pressing really high. Sessegnon. Now, Son. Richarlison. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, what a start he's had to the season. He looks so sharp at the moment, and his finishing has been lethal. There's every chance he'll add to his tally today. Sessegnon. Committed challenge. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. One nil then. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. And a goal has gone in in the Villa game. Alex Scott has all the information for us. It's a goal for West Ham. It's now 1-0 with 21 minutes Oh, hang play. on, Alex. Big chance here. And in it goes. From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't spill it into a dangerous area like that. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Well, to Alex, apologies for having to interrupt you just then. Just to confirm, West Ham did find the net in that game, and they now hold a 1-0 lead. Now, the wide area might be the productive area for Spurs. Wonderful block. Can they put it away? Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Short corner favour. Bisuma. Jed Spence. Eve Bisuma has it. Jung Min Son. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. Well, there it is. Confirmation of Tottenham's dominance in this game. They've created so many chances. 
And news coming through from the Amex Stadium. Someone has scored there, but who? Here's Alex. It's a goal for Arsenal. It's now 1-0 with 31 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Given away by Tottenham. Now options are plenty. And he's found a bit of daylight. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And the danger cleared. Well, it's been a frustrating game for them so far. And that shot off the woodwork just about summed up their game. Promising move from Tottenham. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. But into the keeper's gloves. Mateus Cunha. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and the visitors are prospering. Stuart, and he's through here. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, as you can see, they finished this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. So the game continues, and Wolves can now go hunting for an equaliser. Kyung Min Son. Well, Tottenham being afforded too much room here. Oh, genuine chance. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Now can Tottenham use this corner to add to their advantage? Favouring the short one. Bisuma. And quick thinking defensively. Well, the referee blows for half-time, and it is advantage Spurs. Interested to get your thoughts. Yeah, we've highlighted their goal-scoring ability before the game, and it's been evident again today. They just create so many chances, but they'll probably need another just to make sure of the win. And the referee sounds the second half into action. Spurs with the lead here. Throw-ins given. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And players waiting in the centre. No, high quality defending. Carabao Cup excitement to look forward to live here on EA TV. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on Brighton. Well, that's a game to look forward to. Plenty to play for in that one. It should be a really entertaining game. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. And the substitution will occur now. Pedro Neto. Teammates available, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And news of a goal at Goodison Park. Alex Scott has the details for us. It's another for Everton. It was a nice one-two, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. They're back in this now with 57 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Oh, could be. Oh, fine stop.
Uh, how about the short corner? Can he create an angle? Still a chance. Just a quick reminder, we'll have action from the Carabao Cup coming up live here on EA TV. It's Tottenham Hotspur taking on Watford. Well, the cup always whets the appetite, and that one's no different. It should be a really good game. Just the challenge that was required. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Into the box it goes. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Well, I have to say, I've been disappointed in Wolves. They've just lacked ideas whenever they get into the top third of the pitch. It's not quite been good enough. Quite simply, they just need to get on the ball more than they have been. And he's shot this on. Opportunity! Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And a change to the scoreline at Goodison Park. With the information, here's Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Middlesbrough. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space. And it was a beautiful headed finish. It's all level again at 2-2 with 69 minutes Oh, played. jumping in. They're in a great position here. Well, what can you say? A gilt-edged opportunity to level it.
Well, they have to score there. That was a great opportunity to equalise. Jed Spence. But well, I believe changing circumstances in the Villa game. And Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for West Ham. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. They now lead Now jumping in because this is a chance. And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. Over it comes. A really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Mickey van der Ven. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. Just to confirm, West Ham did score in that match. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Gunter. Here's Lamina, and teammates around him. Firing it in. Oh, good save. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up, and both will come on here. And over it comes. Good bit of defending. Long staff. Throw in for Wolves here. The save was a good one. Who's going to get on the end of it? Brilliantly blocked. And cleared away. A corner kick it'll be. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Kalajic. Well, that's one for them to pursue. A decisive clearance it was. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Pretty comfortable. And the referee says that's going to do it for this contest. It is a Spurs success story. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game. And once again, they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.
Some questions regarding the match? That's it. Thanks very much.